wild now. Um, and and, and uh, Tory Lanes handcuffed in court for violating order in Meg the Stallion case. So if you're not familiar with what happened between Tory Lanes, Tory Lanes has a uh, do not communicate uh, thing thingy with Megan the Stallion because back I believe it was in 2020. Which let me, let's just go, let's go get caught up. Oh, wonderful. Um, Fedor said it was really great for him too, so I'm very glad. So here's a recap. Let's just do a recap of it. If you guys don't know what happened. Uh, so we can get caught up to what's going on now. So, what to know about Megan Stallion's shooting case? So this is out of the New York, New York Magazine. It's called the Cut, I guess. Here comes the yeah. <sighs> yeah, he shot her in the pinky toe. Exactly. The legal battle between Megan the Stallion and Tory Lane stemming from her accusation. Accusation that uh, Lane shot her feet in the summer of 2020 continues. Lane's real name, Daister Peterson, is currently facing charges of felony assault and carrying an unregistered firearm, which he has admittedly denied for the past year. He pleaded not guilty to the charges. Things got even messier during the uh, pre-trial hearing in February when both Megan and Lanes took to social media to exchange allegations, with Megan sharing texts she claimed prove Lanes is guilty. Uh, in court on Tuesday, Lanes was handcuffed and taken into custody after a judge ruled that his tweets about Megan violated court orders prohibiting him from contacting or mentioning her. So he got arrested for tweeting because there was a no contact thing going on. So that's wild to me. I think that is just wild uh, that, that that's that's how it went down. But hey, this is the time we're living in and no contact means no contact. That's not what that's not what I meant to do. I meant to do that. But OK, we're past that now. The trial start. Day is currently scheduled for September 14th, but until then, let's run down how we got here in the first place. So, in July 2020, Megan the Stallion accused Tory Lanez of shooting her in her foot. A few months later, he was charged with assault. In July of 2020, Megan was seen getting in a police car with bloody feet, supposedly injuries sustained from broken glass, and was taken to the hospital. Reports initially suggested that she had been arrested after a night of partying with friends, but it was later reported that Tory that Lanes, who was also in the car, was arrested for possession of an unregistered firearm. It wasn't until a few days later that Megan publicly claimed in a since-deleted Instagram post that she had suffered gunshot wounds to her feet as a result of a crime that was committed against me and done with the intention to physically harm me. At the time, she did not specify who had shot her. Mighty, mighty, with the flames. During their Instagram, during an Instagram Live in August, Megan claimed that Lane's had shot her, though she reportedly did not initially tell the police that she had been shot. <laughs> she, exp she explained that in the moment she hadn't trusted the police to protect her. Why the fuck would I tell the police somebody got a gun in the, ca in the car and this person shot me, uh, she said. So I can get shot, you can get shot, she can get shot, he can get shot. So... This was very. This was a very tumultuous time uh, during uh, was July 2020. Lots of protests going on, BLM in full effect. Lots and lots of lots of mistrust and hate going towards the police department. So that's how she felt at the time. That's how she felt. Following the, her public accusations, Lanes continued to deny the allegations. He cast doubts on whether or not she had been shot in the first place. Her medical records reportedly indicate that she was. <laughs> and reportedly floated the idea that even if she was shot, she couldn't have seen who was shooting if she had been walking away from the car at the time of her injuries. Lanes was officially charged on October 8th with one count of assault, with a semi-automatic firearm and one count of carrying an unregistered weapon. According to the charges, he, Megan, uh, who was not explicitly named, 
in the charges and two other individuals were driving in the Hollywood Hills when an argument broke out. Eventually, the car stopped and Megan got out, which is when Lane's allegedly fired shots at her feet several times. Now, I don't know what kind of fucking maniac thinks it's okay to just start shooting people at, at, at their feet. So, you know, fuck you, Tory Lanes. That's that's rude. Don't do that. <laughs> don't fucking do that. It's not nice. Megan has accused a blogger of lying about DNA evidence in the case. The plot thickens. Lanes has been trying to get the case dismissed ever since the charges were filed against him, but the charges were upheld by a, the Los Angeles County judge in December of 2021. And on it's February 23rd, his lawyers appeared in court for pretrial, but while the lawyers were arguing in court, things were getting heated on social media. Before the court proceedings began, podcaster G, DJ Akam, uh, Akam, Academic, Academics, okay, Academics, I don't know, yeah, ap- Academics, alleged on Twitter that it was revealed in court a few minutes ago that Tory Lane's DNA was not found on the weapon in the Meg the Stallion case. The tweet was quickly picked up by fans, but was also quickly debunked by Megan herself. Court ain't even started, so why y'all ready to start lying? She posted on an Instagram story. Y'all got breaking news 15 minutes before the court, the court started, and nobody has even been called in yet. She continued specifically calling out uh, academics for spreading false narratives. So here you go. This is this, is this I guess. Um... And this is her responding and all that. Here's the tweets. Couldn't even start yet. Some of y'all, some, I know some of y'all blogs on payroll, but please don't get sued trying to create a hate campaign. Be real journalists and post facts. And to my haters, keep making yourself look stupid. I don't care. Y'all got breaking news 15 minutes ago, 15 minutes before court, court started, and nobody has even been called in yet. So we read that. Breaking! Here's DJ Academics. It was revealed in court a few minutes ago, a few moments ago that Tory Lane's DNA was not found on the web. So here is the stuff. This, this was the stuff right here. And of course, let's go and uh, read some of these. Uh Let's read some of these uh, comments because that's tight. Why would his DNA be on a gun? You mean his fingerprint? (laughs) I cannot wait until she loses. Oh, my God. Twitter will be up in flames. Uh, They keep saying he he got the info early. Got the info from who? It's not reliable. This show, this shows me lack, they lack critical thinking. There you go. So here's Meg. Uh, I know you're probably never going to talk to me again, but I genuinely want you to know I'm sorry from the bottom of my heart and I was too drunk. (laughs) Well, that's not a good excuse now, is it? (laughs) Nonetheless, shit should have never happened and I can't change what it did. I just feel horrible. So I I would say that's a pretty, it's pretty, uh, phone died three minutes out. Uh, he literally could have been apologizing about f- uh, fussing, but uh, fusing, fucking, fucking a friend, but y'all run with everything out of context. So there you go. That's just some of the 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 tweet responses. So let's go back to our article here. <laughs> this alleged DNA report was in fact brought up at the uh, pretrial hearing on Wednesday, but the contents of the report were not. Per Rolling Stone reporter Nancy Dillon, uh, uh, yeah, the report was merely mentioned as a part of Lane's defense, though what it actually says remains unconfirmed. We are in the process of actually retaining an expert with respect to DNA, Lane's attorney reportedly told the court per Dillon's tweet. It is our hope that we will be able to review the, and confirm the LAPD's analysis, which from our standpoint was favorable. Dylan added in a follow-up tweet that the discovery in the case is not publicly available, so reporters won't be able to see it. So, after being called out by Megan Academics, 
deleted his original tweet, but he returned to social media following the hearing, repeating Lane's attorney claim that the DNA results are very pleasing to Lane. Uh, he added, I saw the document myself. It literally says it was inconclusive in finding Tory DNA on the gun magazine or magazine. As many have noted online, inconclusive does not mean that Lane's DNA was not found as academics had originally claimed. So there you go. There's all kinds of stuff going in. This, this article keeps going on and on. Uh, Megan released text allegedly sent from Lane's the day after the shooting. DNA drama aside, Megan took the opportunity to dispel any other misinformation about the case on social media. On her Instagram, she reportedly posted and then deleted text supposedly from Lane uh, that she claimed were sent the day after the shooting. The texts include one sent on the night of Sunday, July 12th, that reads, I genuinely want you to know I'm sorry from the bottom of my heart. So there you go. I mean, we've read that earlier. These are those those uh, things. I was drunk. <laughs> Lane's then appeared to respond on Twitter writing, good dick had me fucking two best friends and I got caught. That's what I apologize for. It's sick how you spun it, though. Lane's previously... <laughs> Good dick had me fucking two best friends. That's what good dick will do to you. Good dick will have you fucking two best friends. And then you get caught. Time to shoot somebody. Ooh, this shit is amazing. Mighty, mighty, how dare you? Thank you so much for gift subbing. Yeeper, squeak, go. I appreciate that gifted sub. Thank you so much. Much love, much love. Let's give her another mighty, mighty. Mighty, mighty. Hey. Okay, sorry. Um... Let's see. Both Nicole and Megan have denied this narrative. After Lane's tweet, Megan t again took to her Instagram stories, writing in part, you keep putting this narrative out that me and my friend fell out about you, and that's not true. Why are you skipping over the shooting? She continued, you think it's okay to shoot me, then harass me online and make it like this was some weird cat fight. What the actual fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> He's like, good dick. Good dick have people just fighting over it. This dick's so good, they're fighting over it. It might be good dick. I don't know. I don't know. The dick might be that good. Who knows? I certainly don't. <sighs> Tory Lane says he was apologized for fucking two best friends, not allegedly shooting Megan the Stallion in the foot. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, so there you go. Those are the tweets. Maybe we should read some replies just because the replies are always the best. Uh, now watch a sex tape drop. <laughs> uh, if, the friend didn't shot, if the friend didn't shot her, how she get gun residue on her and not Tori? I'm a four-year. Explain it to me. Man, not right. Now you putting now you Putin invading Ukraine. Oh, now now yo Putin invaded Ukraine. Okay. Somebody lying. This was someone's face. Like why? Why, 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 why? Spilled. I believe and always will believe her. There you go. So there you go, folks. Support for, for the dear Megan the Stallion. So, Tory Lanez was handcuffed after he was found violating the protective order in this case. During the April 5th hearing for the case, Lanez was handcuffed in court. His bail was increased to $350,000 after the judge ruled that he had violated his protective order against Megan by tweeting about her. The judge added a new condition to Lanez's release that he's not to mention the complaining witness in the case in any social media. Lane's bail was previously increased to 250000 in August after the judge ruled that he violated his restraining order by performing on stage, on the same stage as Megan at Rolling Loud. Damn. 
<laughs> the trial is set to begin September 14, 2022. If convicted, Lanes could reportedly face up 22 years and eight months in prison. <laughs> there you go. There it is, folks. The the whole Megan the Stallion drama. Uh, very, very, very titillating. Very titillating. This is this, you can't make this shit up, right? Gotta love our rappers. Got to love our rappers. Keep it, keep it lit, y'all. 